On today's show, we take you inside the Department of Nursing, where students can earn an Associates of Science degree. The curriculum provides an opportunity for you to experience jobs in nursing in a variety of settings to include hospitals, health clinics, schools, and other outpatient settings. Careers in nursing are among the most lucrative and personally fulfilling options available to job seekers today. Straight across on the left hand side. Virginia State University is meeting the demand with a program that qualifies students for careers as registered nurses. The program offers an associate degree in nursing and prepares students for the realities of this fulfilling but demanding career choice. It began in 2005 and is growing each year. We are able to present students with the necessary information so they can develop what we call the requisite knowledge, skills, and abilities for entry into practice. So you've all been to the hospital. Our graduates are working in Virginia, North Carolina, D.C., Virgin Islands, California, Chicago. So we are pretty, pretty national in where they go. What is the name of the unit that we're going to? Because the field of medicine changes every day, hands-on training is an important part of the curriculum. Student nurses learn by performing the everyday task of the job, first in learning labs and later in the workplace itself. In the hospital setting, you actually get to take care of a real patient. And this is where they really learn how to interact, not only just with the patient, but with the staff who play a major role in helping them to develop some of their skills. But the foundation for these skills is laid in the classroom, where the fundamentals of medical science and nursing theory are thoroughly explored. Nursing is more than a task-oriented job. There is a lot of knowledge base that needs to go into incorporating the evidence into why we do what we do. They know it does something, but they don't understand how it works. The classroom is just as important as the apprenticeship that happens in a hospital years. setting because it sets the groundwork okay. for that knowledge. Okay. Because the program and the career require a serious okay. commitment, administrators have introduced a Nursing 101 course, which gives beginning students a taste of what the course load and work will be like. It's an introduction to nursing. Um, enough of it to see if indeed this is where they want to be Here. so that if it is not after they've taken 101 they can make a decision early on without going through the first course and going into the hospital. The 101 allows them to get introduced to nursing without actually laying hands on a real life patient. Once they are committed to the program and the work it entails, students are given the tools they need to be successful in this complex field of study. So our curriculum is rigorous, but we have lots of resources to help the student be successful. We have a tutor on every Saturday that works with the students. We have mentors who sort of work one-on-one -on -one to encourage the students to be successful. And then the faculty is driven to make certain that the students are successful in the program. When students move from the classroom to the hospital for real life on-the-job training, they are able to put what they've learned to use. The result is not only an enhanced education for them, but a helpful presence for local employers. Virginia State University students come in and they do an awesome job. They're very committed to caring for our patients. They're very committed in learning. They seek learning opportunities. We send them out to different areas throughout the hospital to gain that knowledge that they need. They know how to use the resources that are here, and I think it's very beneficial for them when they go back into the textbook setting to put the textbook with reality. For many students, their education in the hospital leads to employment in the same setting after they graduated and received their certification. Cynthia Anderson is one of those students now working at John Randolph Medical Center. Cynthia Anderson came to us and she has just been awesome. Um, she has a lot of great qualities that sometimes you don't always find with first year nurses when they come on board at a facility. Cynthia came in, she's eager to learn, she wants to do the right thing, she's always wanting to do what's best for her patients and I think that came from her foundation that she received at Virginia State University. Cynthia agrees that her nursing education at Virginia State University has prepared her well and she says it was no easy task. You have to be willing to give up that time. It's time consuming. 21. 
Um, it's a lot of work, so if you, so you come you in there thinking it's going to be people. easy, you're in for a rude awakening because it's very demanding. Eric Grunwald, a 2010 graduate of the program, says that the rigorous coursework was balanced by a faculty that works hard to help students succeed. There were no shortcuts taken. Um, there was discipline in the class and the knowledge was presented to you in a way that you could understand it and you could tell that the, the instructors all had years and years of experience so they really knew what they were talking about and they were able to translate that into a way that students could understand it. The RN has to do an admission assessment within 24 hours. I think everybody in my class that took this course has passed their state boards so I think that's the final testament to, to their success. When the class work is over and the state exams are passed, the end result is a confident, knowledgeable nurse who is well prepared for the tough but rewarding work ahead. Our students are very capable young men and women and they go out and deliver health care services in Virginia and throughout the U.S.